Hello boys and girls, so today's activity is this super cool bat flying over the town scene at night. Okay, so it's like a pop-up paper plate scene. This is what we are going to be making today. So, for today's activity you will need a blue felt, a black felt, a yellow felt or crayon, a stick of some kind, you could use a lollipop stick, you could even use a straw, two paper plates, paper just in case, some glue, a pencil and some scissors. For the first part you're just going to need one paper plate and you're going to turn it that way. Our first step is just to create a, a Halloween scene, a, a town scene on our paper plate. So I just want you to draw from here a hill and then another hill like so. And then we're going to do, this. it's going to be black so it's like a shadow. We're going to do a house on this one, so just a line up, a line across, a line down. Give your house a roof, so do a triangle on top and then a chimney. And then you can add some windows as well. Okay, and then on this side we're going to do another one. So line up, line across and line down. And add a triangle on top for the roof, you can add a chimney, and again some squares for a window, and then you could add a door. Okay, and then I might add another, actually now I'm going to leave it like that. The next step is to colour them in, so you're going to just do it black because we're creating a shadow effect, so you're just going to colour it all black. I will just say very quickly, remember to leave the windows not black, because we're going to colour them in yellow. That's the only part we're leaving blank. And there we have it. Our shadow town scene we just need to colour in the yellow I just realized we didn't need to colour in the doors because we colored them in black anyway but that doesn't matter and then now you're just going to add yellow for the windows to create a light effect as if the it's dark but the lights are on in the houses okay the next step is we're going to colour it all around I'll just draw the circle to show you all around this like we're going to create a border, we're going to colour that all black. And there we have it. Uh, finished. That's the, we're finished with this paper plate for now. We're going to let the ink dry a little bit. A tip would be maybe if you do have black paint. You could use black paint instead, it might be a little bit quicker. It does take time, but it will look fantastic when we have finished. We're going to use a second paper plate now. We're going to do the sky scene. So we need our dark blue and a pencil. So first of all, we're just going to draw some stars at the top half of our plate. We can draw a moon. and then what we're going to do is we're going to colour just this circle bit in blue because you're not going to see the rest of it and the stars and the moon in yellow so I'll show you so just do a circle around the inside of the paper plate and we're just going to colour in inside of that There we have our nighttime scene finished. So we're going to leave that one to dry now and then we'll come back to our paper plates in a second. 
next step could be a little bit tricky. We're going to cut the white bit out of our paper plate. So what I do is just bend it slightly, pinch a hole at the side, try and keep some of the card so you can draw your bat on it, but if you don't, then it doesn't matter because you can use your piece of paper. finished it should look like that if you've got a bit of card left you can use that to draw your bat on or you could use a new plain piece of paper it doesn't matter either way okay the next step we're going to draw our bat to stick on our stick I'm going to use my card but like I say if you've not got card left you can just use a piece of paper so for our bat we're just going to do a circle and then give him some ears so two triangles for the ears and two eyes like that and then we're going to give him some wings. So we're just going to go do some curved lines and then bring it out to point and do the same coming back in and then bring it down and the same on the other side. Just going in and out, point it in like that. And then for his mouth, we're just going to try and do some triangles as if they are like teeth and then all you've got to do is colour in your bat black and cut it out so we should have now our bat our shadow scene and our night sky and now I'm going to show you how we put it all together to make our flying bat scene the first thing we're going to do is going to add our bat to our stick so I didn't say at the beginning you might need some cello tape you can use glue, but sellotape might help it stick a little bit better. So you turn your back over, turn the stick, and then you just put the tape or glue on the back. And then you've got your flying bat, and then you're going to play. Okay, our next step is to put our bat here, and we're going to glue around the edge of both of them for extra stick. Just leaving a little bit of a gap where the stick will go up and down. If you've got PVA glue, you could use PVA glue. Or if you've got a stapler, you could use a stapler. It might help it stick a little bit better. And you're just going to place it on the top like so. Press down, pinch the sides. So they stick together. So leaving that gap there. Okay. And there we have it. So if you watch, you can move the bat up and down as if it is flying through the town. How cool is that? Hope you've enjoyed it and see you soon.